Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Northern Land Live Super Sunday subscriber stream. Detroit. What a game. Let's go, indeed. Let's go. Thanks for the welcome. Thank you for the thank you related to your welcome. We're going to start, it's going to be a banger right off the get-go here, because check this out. I open the game, and then this lady's like, Hey, we've been playing the game together for a while now. I had a question for you. Are we friends? It's kind of an awkward situation when you consider, you know... I mean, we're definitely not friends. I did shoot her in the head, but I didn't shoot her in the head. If I shot her in the head, she wouldn't be talking to me right now. I killed an android that looked like her. That's like saying I murdered Tickle Me Elmo when I threw it in the trash in the year 2001. I didn't kill her. She died. I didn't kill her. This one is alive. Exactly! I didn't kill her. Connor killed her. Anyway, we're not friends. Of course not. Oh, I see. No problem. Oh, you made the virtual robot sad, NL. <laughs> this is what passes for emotion in a David Cage game. <laughs> in this day and age. <laughs> Do you want to make the robot feel bad? You did it! You're evil! Wait! Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Uh... Well, I, I think I'm just gonna... As you wish. ...continue. What is this... This, this House of Leaves stuff, where every once in a while the... Game pulls back and goes, you know, it's like a hotline <laughs> Miami. You're just doing it because you want to, you sick son of a bitch. I get it. It's a meta narrative. You know, they do what they told you. What happens if you play the game in one sitting? I'm assuming you never see that. It is kind of a uh, a neat thing to add. An extra layer of making the main menu a little bit more interesting, but also simultaneously, like, a little goofy. You know, ambitious jank is pretty much the quantic dream soup du jour in this day and age. Nice loading times, David. Look, okay. The game looks good. It's not that, uh, you know, I'll hold uh, them to the fire over a lot of stuff. But, uh, you know, it does take a while to load. It does get stuck at 87% for a while, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so loud immediately. Prepare yourself. Like, I, I'll, I'll lower it very, very slightly because I oh, only available in the main menu. Get ready. Here we go. It's actually like droids in a boat. Alright, I heard we have to pay great attention to this scene, so I'm not looking at chat despite my desire. Luther, you lead the way. I need you to just get in front of the bullets so that you can finish your story arc and I can escape with my android daughter. Still going. I knew it. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. 
Um, message. Dude, Connor's like... My mom said I had to hang out with Marcus until they get home from the mall. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Uh, I guess we can blow up Jericho. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Isn't that what Jesus said? He's like, hey guys, cool it. I won't be long. Three days later, pops out of the cave. I'm telling you, it's very heavy hand. I know, Oracle. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. He also said we have to blow up Jericho. Look, I haven't read the Bible, okay? What I meant to say is I haven't read the Bible today. Don't let it get out. If they give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. Mm, affirmative, Yola Tango. It's too late, Cap! Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna leave you behind! Right, Carl? I won't leave him. leave him. The girl doesn't want to leave him. We will help Luther. What are you doing? I won't leave you! Carol, when you no. help people in these games, you're rewarded. It's only when you become selfish that they, like, let the kid take a bullet or something like that to teach you a lesson. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? That seems highly unlikely. Go now. Take care of each other. It would be sick if we came back and Luther was like managing a TGI Fridays and he was like, I told you, I'll manage. She'll die out there, Carl. Open it, open the door. I will not compromise my ideals. I will open the door. I'm just gonna go ahead and suggest this guy didn't graduate top of his class in the police academy. Textbook. Are you alright, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Maybe close the door. Or, you know, I guess escape. That's also an alternative. There's more down there! Follow me! Um, we o you, you okay, Mark? Oh, he's good, he's good. Okay, don't worry about it. Wow, you don't have to kill them and then also be a heavy-handed allegory for racism, you know? You could just kill them. Intervene? Absolutely. Dude, QTEs are my strong suit. It's the only video game mechanic I'm any good at at all. Following instructions. Like a good little corporate drone. Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! He's like, come on, get the fuck out of here! Gamma Squad out. Tango! Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. We only got 10 seconds. Can we climb it? I didn't even look to program it. It's all right, Marcus is a god. Doesn't matter. He jumped over the bullets. Look out! Here they come! Go 
Or you gotta jump on him. Forget Jesus, dude. He's Batman. Mousetrap, bitch. It's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. So far, so good. Oh, Josh. Of course, they intervene. What? Am I <laughs> gonna be in the one? Oh no, I messed it up. I'm not gonna be in the 1% of people that don't save the dude who is like our second lieutenant. Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. No. That's a different game. Similar problems though. Uh uh run? I hit A so quickly. I was booking it. I was still in QTE mode. Don't move. Just play dead. Oh god, are they gonna make me not move the controller? Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Please don't kill me. I have to... Don't move. Good thing she's not like blinking or anything. Come on, let's get out of here. Thanks, Alice, you're a really good friend. <laughs> no, don't, do not get up. Are you crazy? Okay, get up. Let's go. Quick, we gotta go. That's why you always tear. What if he turns a human being over to his side by just waving his arms? Like he's actually Morpheus. And by Morpheus, I mean Neo. It's been a while since I've seen the Matrix. Who says fighting games are hard? It's nice of them to put like a LCD screen straight out of 1991 on the bomb. Marcus, the bomb's gonna explode any second. We got. Could you put some more time on it, my friend? We're androids, not sprinters. Half of us were made to be housekeepers. The other half of us spent our entire lives on our backs. We gotta save her. We had brain it's sex. Too late, there's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. I thought he was gonna like decapitate her. This is Justin coming to save us in Fortnite. Oh, they got a carry! the wrong button. I'll just level with you on that one. Connor is not sacrificing himself for these people. He's becoming the lethal enforcer that Jericho needs. He's gonna be their John Wick. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's it over, Marcus. There's still time to make DLC. Conwick.
Perfect. Yo. I think we did pretty well for, like, the pivotal moment, honestly. Kara and Alice lived. Marcus and Connor lived. North lived. Luther lived. Well, Luther, he'll, he said he'll manage. Which means he probably died on his terms. Wow, most people lost Simon. I guess you lose him kind of like a little bit earlier in the game, so that's fair. I don't even need to look at most of these, but let's do it anyway. 80% saved North. Connor protects Marcus in North, sure. Killed the soldiers. Chose to save. Look at how many times you gotta save. I thought that said North is hot. And I was like, 89%? You got some splaining to do. You could still fuck it up. Well. Now that's a flow chart, dude. Oh my god, I can see friend stats now. 100%, so I'm with Bear here. Oh, Bear, you, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Bear got up there and was like, Nice trying, Marcus, you're under arrest. I can't break my programming. Connor gets a Medal of Honor and then is decommissioned. Hank kills himself with a cirrhotic liver. The end. <laughs> You're right. Bear's a cop, dude. Let's see what the world... Yeah, 78% become deviant. That's right. Jericho's under attack. Oh my god. I. It's like I skipped a thousand things here. Thanks, everybody's golf. What did I skip in the middle here? Connor joins the others. <laughs> this is like when you watch uh, Iron Man 1 and then you go straight to Infinity War. And you're like, what happened? Oh, that's the Falcon. He shows up at Captain America, the Winter Soldier. He used to work at the Veterans Affairs Office. And then he was recruited by Steve Rogers. And gave us a prototype wingsuit that was under decommissioned surveillance from the United States Marine Corps. You know, you get the idea. Hell, Marcus. Connor jumps with the others. He escaped with Jericho's people. Let's go. All right. And then the robots. I guess they're all robots, but these are the most robot of all the robots. They escaped with Luther. Luther opens the door. What percentage of people chose not to save Luther? 32%. Okay. That's not that bad. Kara flees. Almost reached the breach. Run away. 27%. Okay, so a lot of people probably played dead to begin with. Um, Kara shot in the leg. Play dead. Remain still. Leave Jericho. 76%. Kara and Alice escape Jericho. Looks like there's a lot of different ways uh, to get out safely. And I kind of took the roundabout fashion. You're right. I should have checked Bear's stats. So you can tell he's an artist. Even the font on his tombstone is right aligned. You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. Well, maybe if you stopped, like, going on a heist, wouldn't be such a big deal. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. 
I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. Oh, no! Let me get this straight. In the summer, he wears the beanie. In the winter, no hat necessary. I get it. It's Moriarty from Sherlock. <laughs> Instead of one of the myriad Moriartys you know from other media properties. It's a church. Of course it's a church. It's just like in Saving Private Ryan, you know, where they have that moment in the church in France before things get, you know, really hot the next day. It's a lot like that, except robot racism instead. Talk to your people. Apologize to whom? What are you talking? We were like Superman back there. What do we have to apologize for? Apologize to Kara, decide Connor's fate. This isn't a church, it's a cathedral. I gotta be honest with you, those are the same thing. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. Sorry to tell you they're the same thing. We're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide. Mm, the cathedral has a bishop you, and a church has a minister. Totally not two different names for one old dude saying the same things. Yo, I'm not deciding Connor's fate until the end. I gotta think about it. Like, right now when it says decide on his fate, I hope they're asking, like, you know, do you want him to become the president or do you want him to become the emperor? Because he basically saved us. Yo, it's Jerry! The Jerry plotline's been resolved. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any by components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. <laughs> Not likely. I pressed circle you at exactly the right time. First, nothing else matters. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants, so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Yeah. Okay. In a few hours. Android concentration back. camps. Just in case you didn't get the metaphors. They're building more all across the country. Here's President Nazi with the State of the Union address. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. Yeah, you're right. In 2088, there's going to be people arguing on the cyber internet. There weren't even six million androids around in the year 2038. In public, lady? There's kids around here. There's android kids. You've got a twisted mind. Yeah, some of the android kids, they, they might have been commissioned in the year 2019, but hey, they look like they're eight, okay? I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. 
Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. What do you think the graffiti says? Martyr? We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. <laughs> I mean, you just showed up here about six hours ago, so I don't know where you get off saying our people, but sure, more power to you. It's like when you got a friend who gets really obsessed with something, like half an hour into deciding that it's their hobby. I still don't know how I feel about this guy. I think if you take an alternate path, he gets like a little antagonistic, but... He seems like a true friend here. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. It might just You're be because he looks like moves. Michael Fassbender playing an android, and that makes me innately Wherever skeptical. Go. It might also be the foreboding string Follow. section in the background whenever he speaks. Ah, yeah, end the tutorial, that's fair. Checked on the team, as a good leader does. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. Never should have put on this leather jacket. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Trust? Absolutely. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wait for I feel them like up, this is like Far Cry 5, but from the perspective of Joseph Seed. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. Never tell but me the But statistically honest. speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. It's an extremely robot thing to say. <laughs> Be careful. The odds are terrible, but statistically speaking, anything could happen. The game's not played on paper, Marcus. Inform your people of your choice. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. 2038's present Adolf Lucifer well has proven himself a traitor to the android people. cause. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Dude, we're doing demonstration. I'm going to give you two obvious reasons why, okay? We're doing the demonstration, one, because we have public opinion that's supportive. It even has that information on the screen. So the public is not going to let us be murdered. Secondly, I have to see how David reacts to this situation of a peaceful march towards a robot concentration camp. We absolutely have to know. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we. I know want North's justice. going down. Yeah, it, it, and if there's at this point, in I don't know. It's a listen. roller coaster, man. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Raw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. 
<laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. All right, let's see if people finally had enough. Nope, 48% violence. Well, actually, 48% not peaceful, at least. There's one other option we didn't have access to, apparently. Marcus on sacred ground. You're telling me 26% of people murdered Connor in this situation? Oh my god, Bear, what the heck happened? So Bear talked to North. <laughs> what the... Bear, what happened, dude? Okay, so you... In Bear's version, Carl lived? He didn't have to pay respects? I didn't even know Carl could live. That's amazing. Oh, but the Connor didn't exist in Bear's game at this point. Okay. So, he talked to North. He talked to everybody. He chose peaceful protest. There you go. Great. Good job, Bear. I'm with you. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Um, lock Civilian her up. Civilian movement will be 